Hi, thank you for joining me in Ireland for, for a few minutes. It's actually just been raining here. Uh, you shouldn't be surprised, this is Ireland. My name is, is Paul McCotter. I am a medieval historian and I'm a genealogist. Now, these might sound, that might sound to be a contradiction, but in fact it's not. Both are research-based scientific disciplines which have a lot in common. I lecture in university, I perform academic research, and I publish. I also offer a professional genealogical consultancy service. This is based on my unique skill set, and this service is now available to you. Isn't this a beautiful headstone? A fabulous piece of stone carving. It's the headstone of the McCarthy family of Balin Edig. These are Gaelic aristocrats with roots in this area where we are now, in this part of County Cork, going back five, six hundred years. If you're a true genealogist, you will love headstones, and you'll love this one as well. I've been fascinated by genealogy ever since I was a child. I've loved it, I've pursued it as a hobby, I've collected family lore, I've made family trees. Unfortunately, my own origins can't be traced back beyond the late 1700s in Cork City, but hey, I'm still trying. Never give up. One of the difficulties with Irish genealogy is the fact that so many records have been lost. We can repair that damage to some extent by having people like myself and others who understand source material and the importance of finding it. We know where to dig, we know where to look, we know where to source the genealogical material. A little while ago, we saw the tombstone of the McCarthy's of Balenidig. And this tombstone here is uh, the tomb of uh, Cormac Lider McCarthy, the Lord of Muscari, who founded this priory for Franciscans in 1465. Now that is genealogy. Look at this, a 500 year old fireplace. What can I do for you? I can help you uncover the story of the struggles of your own ancestors to survive and to thrive over several centuries. I've worked for people whose ancestors were farm labourers in Ireland. Now, in Ireland of the 19th century, the farm labourer was one step above the African slave. The descendants of the farm labourer now own a bank. I've worked for people whose ancestors were gardeners in the big house of an Irish aristocrat and whose descendants are now multimillionaires with their own big house. Of course, it's not always like that. It can be reversed. Very often we find that people descend from ancient Irish kings or perhaps they descend from British planters of the 16th and 17th centuries. The point is this, everybody's genealogy is unique to themselves and tells a unique story of that family. So what adventure can I take you on? Will we journey together to the half collapsed walls of some ancient Irish cottage by a lake perhaps? Or maybe to the ruins of a big house, a great mansion house, where liveried servants once danced attendance on your ancestors. What an adventure awaits. With me, you get a superior service at an honest price. Join me today and we can cover the story of your ancestors. For a free assessment, email me at paulmccotter.com. <laughs>